Welcome to Whack All Access. My name is Rachel Vigil. We are very excited to be talking to the brand new Aggie, the head coach of the baseball team at New Mexico State, Mike Kirby. Coach, first of all, congratulations on the job. Has these last couple of weeks been a whirlwind for you? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Rachel. Yes, it's been uh, really exciting for my family and I, and as you can imagine, uh, a whirlwind. And um, got my first um, earthquake in a number of years when I was in California. So things that people have been shook up, yes. I know you're currently out in California doing some traveling, recruiting too. I know you're in an Uber right now. What was that earthquake like? I mean, I've never personally experienced one, so just wondering, I guess, for personal interest. It's not super fun, Rachel, because you don't know when it's going to stop. If it's going to, if uh, you know, you start seeing stuff move that's not supposed to move. So, really, uh, drop, drop and cover, or get in a doorway is really best advice. Or if you're fast, get the heck out of there. All right. Well, good to know. Uh, hopefully, that's the last earthquake you ever have to experience, and I hope I never have to experience one <laughs> as well. But now let's get back to some baseball. First of all, how did the AD Mario Mocha let you know that you got the job in New Mexico State? He gave me a phone call and um, just said that uh, I interviewed really well and wanted some more information, and we chatted for a, an extended period of time, and um, that's when he offered me a job. It's a really exciting day for me and my family. Like I said, dream come true for sure. And you spent the last five years at Nebraska as an assistant coach. How did that time there kind of prepare you for this next journey? Yeah, I was fortunate to work with Darren Erstad with all of his experience that he has being a 14-year big leaguer and, you know, really seeing how he goes about it. He came from the professional side of baseball, and I was really just used to the college side of it. So I can tell you over the last five years, I really have a, a good feeling on how to blend the professional and the college side that I think kids nowadays really gravitate to. And you started coaching back in 1991. You went to the College World Series in 95, correct? Yeah, so I'm currently 94 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, how did that experience help your coaching philosophy now? No, really just learning from the players. You know, those are the guys that teach all the coaches, all their experiences, good and bad on the field, off the field, girlfriend issues. Um, advisor issues, putting too much pressure on themselves because everyone's telling them how sweet they are and they start believing it. Um, and the great thing, seeing the kids coming out of nowhere, not drafted out of high school. Kids like Nick Gonzalez, the stuff that he's putting together for our program. Undrafted out of high school. You don't go undrafted and lead the Cape League in hitting or be in the top and be an All-American. That guy has put in some serious work. So those are the kids you learn from. Those are the things that I picked up along the way. And we'll pass after I get to know Nick. I'll be able to pass that on to future Aggies. Hey, man, there's a guy in here. Here's what he did every day. Here's what he brought to the table. What's it like meeting all of these guys that are now part of your team? Um, it's real weird. That's what we talk on the phone. I'm like, hey, how you doing? He's like, I'm cool. I'm all me too. It's kind of weird though, isn't it? And he goes, yeah. I go, you feel weird? He goes, yeah, so do I. I go, what do we say next? And he goes, I don't know. I said, I don't know. Go Aggies? What happens? So we're, we're just learning each other and uh, really talking on the phone. A couple of these guys have really good personalities. And, you know, I, I, I don't have a ton of rules. First one is definitely be yourself. And that's what I tell them. And right after that, usually you get a little sigh like, Oh, that's cool. All right. All right. I got you. So um, conversations have been fun, and it's really been hard to reach out to everyone. Everyone's real busy this time of year. I can tell you that. And what was it like meeting some of the fans? I know after your press conference, you kind of got to do a little meet and greet. What was that like? Oh, it was awesome. Um, fans extremely passionate um, in regards to not just baseball, the whole university. I was so fortunate to meet some of the big donors that were there. Mario, I mean, just the overall reception I got from the community, I was really blown away. I, I text Mario and everybody that was involved with my hiring, and I thought they nailed it on a high level. I mean, I said, wow, I even look halfway decent. Unbelievable. <laughs> and I know you guys hired Mitch Pritchard. Is that correct? I want to make sure I said that right. Yeah, yeah we butchered his first name, but that's fine. <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike Pritchard, yes. Uh, I hired Mike Pritchard. Uh, he's going to work with the outfielders and the hitters. And uh, I really uh, like what he brings to the table. I, I can tell you that the number of candidates have reached out that wanted to be a part of this, um, the line was really, really, really long. I mean, that's kind of what you want, though, right? Yeah, that's where they, these jobs aren't easy to get. 
there's only a couple hundred of them in, in the in the country and um you know so when jobs open up there's a lot of people that have been working real hard for a long time wanting to get involved so it's really exciting time and what's the main thing you're looking forward to most getting together with all the players on the first day getting and hugging it out and seeing everybody and um you know laying down what we want to do and um really that's I, i'm really i can't tell you how much i'm looking forward to that day well coach i love the energy and i appreciate your time coming on with us today um i'm very excited for this next part of new mexico state baseball that makes two of us well more than that my family as well but i really appreciate your time today it's uh, i'll come back on anytime perfect all right coach well thank you drive safe get back to el paso safe as well you heard, you heard that, that uber all right thank you have a good have one thanks day. coach Mike Kirby from New Mexico State Baseball for Wackall Access. I'm Rachel Vihill.